Hi, good evening folks. In this video, I want to go over the William Borgen situation that we were all debating earlier. Coming up. Okay, a shout out actually goes to Todd Smart because Todd's the one that was adamant I was wrong about this. And uh, kudos to Todd, you're right. A few of you called me out on this and I just, I couldn't understand how I could think, uh, how I could be right about something when everybody else was convinced and the Buffalo Papers were convinced I'm not, right? But I'm telling you, cap friendly, you guys, they can confuse you with the thing. But I did some digging and I want you folks to take a look at this, okay? We'll take a look at a few things here because there's a few videos I want to put up, but I do want to call myself out on this. Okay, let's take a look at this. You're going to see a shot of it. There it is. Okay, if a player has three or more years of professional experience at, at the, it sh, uh, I don't think they meant as the end, as, oh, sorry, as of the end of 2021 season, the 2021 season, they are expansion eligible, okay? Now, on puckpedia.com, if a player has three or more years of professional experience, including 2020 and 2021, they are listed as expansion eligible. Professional experience is defined in accordance with waivers. That's the CBA section 13.4 as, check it out. If a player was 20 or older, and we all know he's 24, as of December 31st of a season, any season with one or more NHL, AHL, or even ECAHL gameplay counts as a year of professional experience. <laughs> what the hell is that? So, isn't that weird? I don't know. I find that very weird. All right, let's check it out again here. And the second thing is, if a player was less than 20 as of December 31st of a season, any season with 11 plus NHL games played counts as a season of professional experience as well. So, let's take a look, okay? I'll get up the other shot for you and let's look at his career. All right, there it is. All right, and we can clearly see in Rochester, eight games, 71 in Buffalo, four, then Rochester, 61 in Buffalo, 10. And there it is. You know, I mean, it, it just, it's just something. What does that mean though? I mean, does that, that really opens the surface for other guys in the league for them. There might be some surprises on the Seattle roster I wasn't expecting, really. All right, take a look at this also, because if you look at um, his career numbers, I mean, you can see there's nothing there, all right? 14 games played, zero goals, zero assists, no points. Uh, he's a minus nine, so I can't really see, um, I can't really see Seattle claiming him. I know some of you guys think he's, he, he could get claimed. I, I don't buy it. I, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping they're going to take Jurgensen's, to be honest. You know, but I, if I'm Seattle, I'm going after Miller. I'm going after the experience. I know the cap hits a little high, but I'm going after, like, some experience on this team I'm, for my blue line. Not, not somebody like, you know, I just don't see why. But take a look again here. This is what really shook me up, Okay. Now his stats, basically, let's face it, they look like crap. They do. But something stands out there, guys. Look over on the right. 14 games played, a career hit total of 42. And you all know how much I love defensemen that hit. <laughs> so, you know, but look, I mean, it's 14 games. I get it. It's, you know, we don't know for sure. I mean, you know, how it's gonna be eventually, but I'm kind of looking at that, hopefully, like that's Granato's coaching system too. And this is what he's starting to implement with the young kids and the younger guys that are trying to cut the team. To be honest, guys, I really think he's safe. I can't see Seattle wasting one of their claims on a guy with 14 games of NHL experience at 24 years old. That's a minus nine. I just can't, you know? Maybe, they, they, maybe they'll see something in them, maybe, but I don't know. I, I find the media sometimes will pump up a player a lot, maybe just to get him moved too. 
No, I, I honestly think they're going to claim Colin Miller. I'm, I'm willing to bet it's going to be Colin Miller, but we'll see. We'll see. I hope I'm, uh, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, to be honest, I know like this will go against the grain of making some of you guys happy with this video. I'd rather have Miller, of course, if we can keep one. I, wa I want some veteran leadership on our defensive blue line, so I'd like to keep him. Okay, that's it, guys, for this one. It's a short video. I just wanted to toss it out there. I told you guys on this channel, I'll call myself out where I'm wrong. So any, any information I put out there, I really believed it, you know? And thanks, Todd. The, the, Todd was persistent, saying, no, Wayne, I'm telling you, you're wrong. Like, you're wrong about this one. You know, he was, he was persistent. And then I did my digging on this and my diligence. I just thought, I, you know, like, there's so many things. There's so many little tight ends that we don't, that I didn't know about this. Like, I didn't know that if, if I could count as a year experience playing one game. I don't know. Okay. That's it for this uh, video, folks. I got two others I want to make. I'll see you in the next one.